Hello, I'm David Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The Wayne County Commission unanimously approved an emergency repair plan for the Gross Eel Parkway Bridge. The bridge has been closed since May. It was first shut down over decking issues, then erosion was discovered on its support piers. Today, the commission approved a $9 million contract for repairs. Construction is set to begin in April, with it reopening in September. New information coming out over a deadly shooting in Frenchtown Township. It happened Thursday night just before 1030 at a campground and RV park on Stumpmeyer Road in Monroe. Police found a 35-year-old woman, Joy Bos Boswell, inside a car. She was shot in the face and later died at the hospital. The suspected shooter is in police custody. Officers say he and Boswell were staying together at the RV park. No word on what led up to the deadly shooting. The investigation is being handled by Michigan State Police. Well, let the games begin. The state is lifting the ban on school winter sports as of Monday. The governor says the decision is based on science, not political pressure. The numbers cited include the rate of positive tests under 5%, the lowest since mid-October. The number of hospital beds with COVID patients is also declining, now down to 6.6%. But there is still concern about the UK variant. The health department says there are 28 known cases in Washtenaw and Wayne counties and that we all have to be on guard to stop the spread. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Snow is moving through right now during the evening hours. That's when it will be heaviest and at some point it's coming down so hard it's tough to see. You have to slow down on the roads. They are filling up with snow as we speak. Two to three inches likely between now and 11 o'clock. Most of those numbers are probably closer to three than two, too. So it's hot and heavy here for a while this evening. Overnight tonight, some leftovers. Here's the thing that happens overnight. A strong cold front comes through. The winds really pick up. Gust tomorrow, 40 to 45 miles an hour, maybe even 35 by the morning drive. Temperature gets stuck in the teens and stays there with wind chills a few degrees either side of zero all day Friday.